and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my first cleaning video in god it has to be over a year i never filmed cleaning videos when i lived at my in-laws guest house just because it wasn't my house and i always felt kind of weird just like deep cleaning these spaces that were decorated with a bunch of stuff that like wasn't mine. I don't know, I just felt some type of way about it. So this is the first one in a while. And if you can hear the fan in the background, that's the fan that blows the hot air from our pellet stove into this room. And it's actively snowing right now for the first time. Today is November 1st when I'm filming this and we weren't expecting to get snow this early, but hey, that's Vermont. And I know Rue, it snowed enough to bury her. So it's definitely been a lot and I need to keep the pellet stove on because it's the only thing heating this room. We do have central heat, but we just haven't turned it on because we're pretty much only living actively in this side of the house and it shows. <laughs> so for those of you who watched our like empty house tour when we first bought this house, the house is kind of sectioned off almost into like an original part of the house where the kitchen and bathroom and upstairs bedroom and like basement laundry room area are. And then this part of the house, which we just call the wing. And we've been living in the wing, sleeping here, having all of our clothes in here. I have my desk and like some other things, you know, just my work stuff is here and we hang out in this side of the house like pretty much all day. And then Finley's actively renovating the bedroom upstairs so he'll like work in there and then we use obviously the kitchen and the bathroom for what you need to use those things for. But we don't really spend like a ton of chill time in that side of the house so I'm not gonna be cleaning that side of the house today just because I'm not actively using it. And the reason that this is Depression Edition is not just for a dramatic title or something like that, but because the state of this room is just such a clear reflection of the fact that I've been depressed for like three weeks. And when I show you guys the tour, you will see. There's a suitcase that I haven't unpacked from my trip that I went on over a month ago. There's laundry I have to put away next to my bed. It's pretty much the biggest depiction of being depressed that you could see. It's just like a ton of snacks and technology and stuff like that that I've been using, but also just like a giant pile of clothes because I just like take the clothes off and throw them there whenever I'm going to bed or something. And I've been spending a lot of time in bed, okay? And for those of you who may be concerned as well about the title or me just talking about depression in general, because I'm a generally pretty cheery gal, you know? I would say there's a couple of factors here, so you don't need to theorize or anything about me because I already am in therapy and I already know why it's happening. Number one being that I do struggle with seasonal depression and I just wasn't expecting it to come on during the fall. Normally it's like a winter thing for me, but I think just with the move and you know saying bye to Virginia and all that kind of stuff, it was just like a lot of change all at once. And I love Vermont and I love living here, but at the same time, some Sometimes my brain just takes a little while to adjust to change. And then number two being just getting some hard health related news in regards to not one but many loved ones and that's just been hard to deal with and you know just try to stay updated on and hope for all of the best on. And then number three would be probably one of the biggest ones and that's just the state of the world right now and just feeling really overwhelmed with what's going on and just like going on social media and just feeling like it's kind of a constant news cycle of pain um, and feeling kind of helpless. And quite honestly, I like having my content be an escape for you guys and just a safe place for you to go and get your mind off of things and feel comforted by me or seeing my life or whatever, you know, whatever you come here for, I hope you find it. But lately it has been a bit hard for me to film just because I feel not as joyful and fantastic as normal. Not to say that every day is fantastic in my life, but just to say, you know, like I don't feel like myself and today I'm filming this because I'm feeling a little bit more like myself and I just need to clean 
and talk to you guys about all of those things because when you're depressed, you don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to like brush your teeth or shower or you know do any kind of form of self-care. It was like a struggle for me to want to eat. It's a struggle for me to just, yeah, take care of the vessel that is my body, let alone like film a vlog. Like that's why I wasn't really in the last vlog as well, because well, one, I was sick and then also I was depressed. And I don't know, man, I think it's just kind of hard to put those feelings into words unless you're kind of processing them with a loved one or in therapy. So I'm just starting this intro just to say that I hope you have somebody to talk to because I just feel truly so lucky and grateful that my husband understands depression because he also deals with depression. And obviously I'm not like happy that he deals with that, but when I'm down, he like picks up the slack for what I'm not doing around the house and checks in with me and like fully understands the loop that is depression. Like when you're in bed every day and you're trying to just distract your mind from feeling so bad, just watching TV, it's like a constant feedback loop. And he sent me a text the other day that was just saying that, like, I'm worried that the feedback loop is, you know, continuing. And I was like, totally, I get that. And I'm actively trying my best to break it, but I don't really know what will pull me out of it until I start like, trying to pull myself out of it you know and i feel like these past few weeks has been probably the most like potent feelings of depression that i have felt in my life which isn't like you know to alarm anybody but just that i kind of have a little bit more perspective in that area for um how hard it can be you know and i just want to say that i love you and i'm sorry if you're going through this right now too and we can do it we can clean a room even if it's a large room of our house and you know try to make today a better more productive day but also if you're still in bed and you're watching this then just know that i get it and i've been there for a really long time so i'm just trying to slowly get out of there so yeah that's my psa i guess at the beginning of this and Rue has been a really good therapy dog <laughs> while I've been in the throes and grips of depression. I know, you really have. She loves cuddling. Larry too, he loves being in bed with me, which is honestly sometimes a little bit like, it makes me want to stay in bed longer because they're so warm and cuddly and cute, but also I'm really grateful that I have them in the house just so I can, you know, have their little faces to kerfluffle. I love kerfluffling them. Anyway, I'm on a tangent, but I'm gonna put on my headphones, listen to Evermore, and start cleaning because there is a lot going on. And as I get to certain areas and spaces, I'll kind of tell you what's been going on in that area because obviously the state of this room is going to change significantly. Over the winter, we do plan to renovate this wing of the house and make it look completely different and turn it into more of a living space with an office and streaming room and all these kinds of things but as we've learned from the bedroom renovation these things take time and way more time than you expect we've literally been working on our bedroom since we moved in it was one of the first projects that we started and i would say that we're maybe 70 percent of the way done and that's life brother Anyway, the snow is really beautiful outside and I'm just gonna start cleaning. I need to get my supplies, Rue. That really stinks, your breath. Okay, this is what it looks like when you walk into the door of our wing. I have like laundry piles, Finley's laundry. He has graciously folded and more laundry I have to put away that's mine over there. There's a lot of fluff everywhere because Rue de-stuffs her toys and so that's what all of like the random little white things are. I just haven't picked it up. Then obviously, you know, my unpacked suitcase, a pile of dog toys back there. The laundry that's all on here is really like my summer clothes that I moved here with and had in a suitcase and a lot of them I'm not wearing anymore because it's snowing. We also just like have a pile of basically clothes, junk, trash, all of those things right there. I'm telling y'all, it's too real in here. I don't 
plan to clean this room because this is Finley's trash room, we call it. And it's basically like where at the end of renovation days he goes to game. If you can see the blanket moving, Larry is in there tucked under a bunch of blankets because he's my Beverly Hills Chihuahua. But yeah, we have the couch in there for football Sunday and his gaming chair and a bunch of other stuff. And that's not my room or job to clean, so I'm not going to. This is where I just filmed my intro. This room is entirely filled with all of our clothes, shoes, everything, bags of clothes that we moved here with. And I feel vindicated that I haven't also unpacked my suitcase because neither has Finley. So that's nice, at least, that I'm not alone in that. But yeah, this is basically just a giant closet right now, so I probably won't be cleaning this area. But I definitely do want to deal with all of this suitcase and clothes and stuff. Look at how pretty the snow is. Just stunning. This area, I don't know, man. I dog toys, you know, my desk and stuff. We have mouse traps, live mouse traps that we need to set upstairs and in the basement. And I just have a bunch of random stuff around here, but my plants are dying, so I have to take care of those. But this is really the grand finale, the bedroom. So you can tell which side the depressed person has been on probably. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'll pull you in for a little close up here. But um, you know, unopened mail, just piles of things I've gotten in the mail and haven't sorted or put into their homes. Just snacks and things that I've been having next to the bed, pile of clothes, bills I have to pay, things of that general nature and it just looks terrible. And I also wanna wash the sheets cause I've been sweating a lot in the night. Okay, let's begin. And I'm listening to Evermore because gray November, I've been down since July. Just kidding, I haven't been depressed since July, if that's what we're talking about here. But you know, it is gray November. It was more of like a white November. I think I'm gonna start with watering my plants cause Lord knows they can need it. This rug will never stay in one place. I'll fix it. My Pothos took this hit pretty hard, so that's my beat. Sorry, Pothos. I'm gonna need to water that one in the other room. All right, now to start with the cleaning, I figured to start in the worst spot, and then we'll work our way out. I guess I'll strip the bed. Ah, bro! Oh, it fell on you! I think it's a down pillow. Where did my baby go? All right, I gotta collect the laundry. Okay, I'm running a load of laundry, and then I loaded the dishwasher, and now I'm gonna put on new sheets. Yay! Help! I'm still at the restaurant. Still. <laughs> getting hot in my sweats. You're having a lot of fun. I have to go find two more pillowcases. I'm using our flannel pillowcases for these second pillows. This one is so discolored, it's actually appalling. Finley's had this for as long as I have been with him, and it's just a flat down pillow, and he's obsessed with it. Anyway, I've been telling him we need to get more flannel sheets, like for the Vermont winters here, and I told him he can pick them out because he picked out this really cute floral pattern for his sheets at his first apartment. Even in LA, he had flannel freaking sheets. And so I think that, well, they match really well with this kind of like steely gray blue sheet from Kiyuchi, but I think it would be nice to have like a cute flannel moment. Rue's having a lot of fun cleaning with me. I don't think you can see her, but she's playing with her toy on my legs. Y'all getting into this new host your album or what? Pretty damn good, Rue. <laughs> She wants me to make bed with her in it. Kind of a heavy comforter for such a tiny peanut. Rue. Are you coming out? <laughs> this is why I can't make the bed with you in it, Rue. You don't actually want to be in there. We're not going for perfection here. Just changing the sheets. I gotta put on a t-shirt. Slipped into something a little more comfortable. Figured a nice little joke shirt. Lift the spirits a little bit. I wanted to say these side tables, they're upside down, but they used to be in our Oregon house. And Finley told me recently, like he just doesn't really like them very much. So when we brought them up here into this like makeshift bedroom space, he was like, I don't really want to use them. So they're just kind of there and I'm just gonna kind of leave them there. 
but I am gonna fluff up some pillows and move some things around, you know, like I do. Okay, this is the worst part. We're not dreading anything, we're just dealing with it. Shout out to the girly who sent two of these lovely little third eye pine cones to my P.O. box. Love ya. Never cashed this check for some reason. Why? I'm gonna collect all my snacks. I don't know what to do with all of this. I don't know how to like make it cute. I'm just gonna start taking out the clutter. Um, come remember, it's the same damn thing. Well, these bills and checks and things I'm gonna put inside of my laptop. So when I open my laptop next to watch TV, I'll actually do what I need to do. Pro tip, clean laundry. These need to go to my medicine cabinet. I actually need to vacuum this thing because there's dead flies on it. Just dusting that bad boy right off. I don't know, good enough. All right, things have gotten a little slow for me. I just feel like I'm wasting time doing meaningless tasks. Not meaningless, but just like, I don't need to be spending as much time like sorting through my desk. Like, we can just move on. So um, I'm just gonna be doing a quick dust and then also vacuuming back here. I'm not really entirely sure where to put my books right now, so I've just been stacking them up here. Side note, I just looked out the window at the pigs and Ducky just ate an entire mouthful of snow. She like scooped it up with her mouth, tipped her head back to open her gullet and was like, <laughs> like three times. She's just loving hammering snow out there. I love it. All right, so a couple of things happening over here. I need to bring these fans downstairs because we obviously have no use for them anymore. This needs to go up to the medicine cabinet. And then the rest of the stuff, I just need to like find a place for it. These two bins are filled with fall decor, but now that it's snowing today, I'm like, did I miss my chance to decorate for fall? Like I was going to do possibly a clean with me and then decorate with me. And then I was like, I just don't even know where to decorate, you know? Cause it feels like everything is in flux and I just didn't really know where to like put the stuff. And I didn't really have a vision this year. I don't know, I'm still on the fence about fall. Anyway, I'm just gonna start kind of finding homes for all of these things. One eternity later. Well, as you can see, it's dark out now. It's multiple hours later. I got really distracted and that's an issue I've been having over the past few weeks is that I can't really focus on a task for very long. It's been hard to read or yeah, do anything that requires a lot of concentration. When I edit, it takes so long. So I said that I was gonna start sorting all of this and putting it into its place and then I like got on the phone and then I was just like, on my computer for a while, distracted. So now I'm actually gonna do it, okay? Um, I need to recycle these papers and start putting more of my like workout equipment in here. What is this, microfiber cloth? Well, no, your toy bin is over there. I'm really doing it now, okay? I promise. I guess I'll just leave the fall decor here for now. The candles too. And then I'll vacuum in here. I'll probably show more of this in like a specific winterizing vlog, like me trying the stuff on and whatnot, but Half Days sent me some amazing items in here and they sent me this cute little card. So excited for you to try our snow gear for the chilly Vermont winter in the new cabin. Sending love to Larry and Rue. That's so nice, dogs. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned up any of your fluff or my suitcase or your toys, but I'm going to. All right, y'all, it's vacuum time. I'm just gonna vacuum this carpeted space because I wanna stop cleaning up this room and this was like the worst of it and it's been multiple hours and I just need to remind myself that I, I am not well <laughs> and that I can't really compare to like me when I would make these videos in Oregon, like fully not depressed. And I need to focus on the wins, like the fact that I got my trash corner under wraps and you know, my dogs are being cute and I'm gonna vacuum up all of the fluff and there's a lot of leaves in here for some reason that we've trekked in. So here we go. Tell me how this got entirely full during that time. What? How? Just from that carpet? That carpet's really that dirty? Disgusting. Okay, I don't know why, but in this lighting where we sit looks so dark, like stained, but I think it's just the shadow. The dogs really like the shades. They love hanging out here. Why is there a Larabar wrapper back here? Rue has to get on here from getting on the treadmill to the mushroom to the shades. Show them how you do it. 
That's very, very skilled of you, Ru. Just collected all the trash in here, and then I, of course, could find a freaking Larabar wrapper I just tossed back there. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't do things like this unless I'm depressed. Like, why did I put that there? I'm the only one who eats these. Unless Rue's been sneaking a few. She is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna clean this area now. Cute, Larry joined. I don't have much to do in this area, just dusting and getting the toys off the floor and stuff. I just realized this, but I actually have to vacuum that window still. So I'm honestly happy it's winter, just because all of the flies won't be in my house anymore. There are so many dead flies on this windowsill. Honestly, this entire window, I hope to replace. And I showed this in a video where the roof was leaking. This was a couple months ago and this window was also leaking along with it. I think it's a mixture of being installed wrong and the roof kind of, when we had that big storm, pushing the water towards us because of the wind. And so this whole thing needs to be replaced. Some of the drywall behind it might even need to be replaced, but windows are really expensive. So we plan to just kind of go through the winter with this one. In our bedroom, there's a window that needs to be replaced as well in some of the ones, it's like a five pane or four pane window. And they're all like individually opened with like those little, like these right here, like these little handles or whatever. I'm on a tangent, but basically what I'm trying to say is we have to replace one of those little panes. And I told Finley the other day when we were up there trying to plan out more of the renovation of the bedroom, I was like, I wanna replace this whole window because you can tell all of them are like fogged up there and when you have fogged glass like this is fogged glass in the day you can see the streaks you can see it's not properly insulating the house or holding in the heat and stuff like that it's just a terrible window and it doesn't do its purpose so uh, we're just gonna save up money and you know replace those probably when we replace the siding on the house which I know some people are bummed about but we have siding rot in like one area of the back and it just looks not good. It needs to be some other different material. So that's like a renovation, just random tidbit for you. All right, Rue, I'm not trying to point fingers at you, but the only dog I know that plays with toys in this house that is in his little yellow bobo that he had when he was a baby, this Larry likes to play with. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, you're the culprit of all the other toys. So we're gonna have to put them away vacuum up your fluff, you can play with them another day. He's already pissed. Like I said, we're not trying to point fingers. How about you play with this fun fall leaf? How about you play with that? She never wants to play with this. I think it's too loud. We're, we're not playing snake right now. We really want to play snake. You have too many toys. That's the problem. It's just have too many. You don't actually play with them all. You want to play with the cowgirl now? Okay. How come all day you haven't been playing with Toys, and then now that I'm putting them away, you want them all. Is this what it's like to have a, a child, a real human baby? Oh my god, okay, room. I'm just gonna start vacuuming up. I accidentally clogged this with all the fluff. Whoops! Well, don't worry, everybody. It's a mere 8 p.m., and I started at around 3, and I've definitely not been cleaning for five hours, so I'd say we've done a pretty good job for the time that we've had. But I'm not stopping here. I'm gonna keep vacuuming. And I just pushed my full suitcase. I did not unpack it. I pushed it right into the closet room. Deal with that tomorrow with the laundry like a real man, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of vacuum and see where the night takes me. And I just started looking at the fall decorations. It was like, hell, I could just put those in here and just do it. And it's not even that much stuff to decorate with. So we'll see where the night takes me. Get the idea. Okay, my camera died when I was vacuuming the space, which doesn't really matter, like you get the point. But I wanted to say something very disgusting. I filled up my vacuum four times in this space. Four. That's how disgusting those floors were. And I am appalled. And now I'm gonna put out my fall decorations. It's November 1st. I know some girlies decorate for Christmas on this day, but honestly, I don't put up my Christmas decorations like until Vlogmas. Maybe I'll put up my tree this year. I already think I'm gonna put the tree over here in this corner where the chaise 
is behind you. Maybe I'll put it up early this year, like after Thanksgiving, but that's like the earliest I'll do, you know? I like to enjoy the seasons, okay? I know it snowed today, but I still want to enjoy fall while I can. And I'm feeling the energy. So I'm honestly just gonna put all of the decorations out and then show you after and be like, voila, and then maybe just update you tomorrow on whatever I'm doing. One frozen wasteland later. Well, I must say, this was a great decision. Made my serotonin skyrocket. So I'm gonna show you all of the things. Let's start over here. So we normally put this on like a tiny kitchen table that we have, but it's just gonna be on my desk for the rest of this month. And I just put some little scarecrows. This is my favorite scarecrow couple. And that's a little bouquet Finley picked me and I just have it there and it looks very seasonal. And then we have a big split going on from, honestly, I forget what I named her. Does anybody remember what I named her last year? I think I thrifted this big scarecrow right before we moved to Virginia. So she never got to like enjoy a fall season. Can you stop resource guarding, sir? It's enough. Anyway, she's here doing a big split, but then I put a little glass pumpkin here. Normally I would fill that with something, but I obviously just decided to do this last minute. And then around our little chimney, our fireplace. I mean, this is a chimney, but this isn't like a proper fireplace. It's really just kind of like a random hearth, but I just stacked all my books and journals. Most of these in this stack I've read over the course of 2023. And then I just put my little pumpkin that Lindsay sent me actually recently in a little cornucopia and our turkey gobbler lady, happy fall y'all sign, and my one-armed scarecrow. He had a lot of his hay fall off. Who knows what happened to him? And then these are my to be read books right here. This is just gonna go down to the basement. This actually has a lot of candles in it that I wrapped up when we moved out of Oregon and I'm just now looking at them, but I just don't really have a place for them right now. And I already have a candle out that's seasonal. So I'll probably just move that, but the plants are watered. We got another little scarecrow lady over here in a little gnome. And I don't know where my candle wick trimmer is. So excuse this shot but yeah, we're gonna light it with the silenced hippie toker poker. Love her work. And there's a fly that died in my candle. So I'm gonna have to fish that out once the wax gets a little warmer. But I didn't really know what to do with this space today. It was just kind of like a lot of clutter. So I just kind of put it on top of here, but it's way better than before. So are you still farting? You've been kind of farting a lot. That's why I had to light the candle. Yeah, Jesus. Anyway, I took my sweater off because it got so damn hot. So that's what's going on over there. You know this house, it'd be lived in. But I put the little squishmallow beds for the dogs in front of the fire. Rue was cuddling up in there. But like I said, Larry's in love with the chaise. And yeah, everything's looking good so far. Way better than it was earlier. And we'll just check in with each other tomorrow. But this was a very successful day. Two days later. Wow, guys, look at the place now. Incredible. I got my record player set up. It's actually two days later because yesterday I spent the entire day, not the entire day, we were running errands and stuff, but I spent a lot of yesterday folding and putting away the laundry and just getting a little frustrated because we don't have a closet right now. So putting the clothes back in like the bags that we packed them in is pretty much the only organization system that I have for the clothes right now. And I was just getting so confused and was just like throwing things into the bags and being like, I think this is where they go. I don't know, but I got all the clothes sorted. And then today Finley brought up all of my record player stuff. And I'm so happy. I started by playing Boys and Girls by Alabama Shakes because it's the first vinyl I organized my vinyl alphabetically in my collection and this is the first one that I have so I just pop that bad boy right on and I set it up so fast and it's so nice and I even put up my little Megan record at the top um, that my friend Abby back in Georgia painted for me when I was like 16 before I even started collecting vinyl. Anyway, I'm going to show you a little um, pan around of the after because I'm just really happy that I like got all the laundry done. I cleaned, I vacuumed. It looks so much better in here. My trash corner is cleaned up. I'm just feeling on top of the world, truly. It's really hard to get the motivation to clean when you're depressed, but I feel like I, you know, got everything together that I wanted to and I'm feeling really just like joyous with the result and it's making me feel less depressed looking at the space you know every morning i would wake up and be like wow look at my trash corner and all my snacks and all this stuff but now it's like i still have grapes next to the bed but you know at least we have like clean sheets and 
this space is really warm from the pellet stove and I have all of my fall decor around and the records rack out which is like a huge motivator for me to clean as well as just like listening to music and stuff so it's just it's good I'm really happy so thanks for watching this video I love you guys and I'll just see you in my next one stay smiling bye y'all